Hey, welcome to MechaJiki. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to configure RenderGuarded for Windows. So the first thing we want to do on our Windows machine is download and install Python. So let's go ahead and go to our Chrome window and go to our downloads page for FFmpeg and Python. And go ahead and click on Python 2.7 for Windows. And on this page, the only link that you need to concern yourself with is this x86-64 MSI installer. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and let that download. So here we have our Python 2.7 file. We're going to go ahead and double click on that. And we can say install for all users or just install for just me, but I recommend just doing install for all users. Click next. And we'll just have it uh, directly installed to the C drive, Python 2.7. Hit next. Next. And click finish. And now if we go to this PC and go to our local disk C, you'll see that we have Python 2.7 in here. So inside here we actually have our Python application. So you'll need to remember the location of this Python file because you will need to navigate to it inside of RenderGuarden. So since we're here on the PC, we're going to go back to our downloads page, click on FFmpeg, and go through the process of downloading FFmpeg. So we're going to choose 3.4, Windows 64-bit static, click Download Build, and we're going to go Show in Folder, and we're going to go ahead and say Extract All, Extract, and then we're going to go inside, and then go inside the bin folder. So here we have our FFmpeg file, and again, what we want to do is we're just going to right-click, copy, go to our this PC, local disk C, and we can either copy it here, or we could actually go inside of our program files and just paste it inside here. So we're going to go ahead and paste, continue. Now we have our FFmpeg file located directly here in local disk C, program files. Again, we want to remember this location because we're going to be putting it into the Render Garden Advanced Preferences panel. So now that we have FFmpeg installed here in our Program Files directory, and we also have Python installed in our top level of our C directory, we're going to go ahead and open up After Effects on PC. Now that After Effects is launched, what we want to do is go up to Edit, go down to Preferences, and then select General. Uh, once this is open, we just need to make sure the Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network is checked. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Go up to our window and scroll down and select Render Garden. So here we say that we have a trial, so we're just going to go ahead and just select Trial. And you can see that it, we actually, it already picked up that we have Python 2.7 installed. So we actually don't even need to set that. Well, all we need to do now is just set our FFmpeg path as well as our seed bank location. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Expand this open. And click Show Prefs. And as you can see, we already have the C drive, Python 2.7, backslash python.exe. So this is already by default put in here if you install it before launching RenderGarden. So next we need to set our FFmpeg path. So we're going to go ahead and click Browse. And we're going to go to our this PC. And we're going to scroll on down to C Drive, Program Files, scroll down and select FFmpeg and click OK. So next you want to set your seed bank. So in our case, since I'm going to be working locally off of this PC, I'm just going to click Browse, and then I'm going to go to Mechajiki, Documents, and we'll create, let's uh, make a new folder, and we'll just call that MK. And inside there, we'll make a new folder, and we'll call that underscore seed bank. So you could actually name this whatever you want, but just to keep things simple, I like to name things just as seed bank. So we're going to click OK. Now that we have all three of these, the Python command, FFmpeg path, as well as your seed bank configured, you are now ready to start using RenderGarden. So our next tutorial, we're going to be going over how to actually launch a render using RenderGarden. 